would you do if you were at work and you walked into the lunchroom and there was a skunk? <laughs> um, that's a scenario that actually happened here on the north side of Lethbridge yesterday and I was called to the scene to respond to it. Now when I got there the skunk had moved out of the lunchroom into the bay but um, it was still an interesting an interesting call. There he is. See him there? Yeah, yeah I got him here. seen him before going through here, but he said there in the impound lot there's a white shed there. Yeah. And he said they've been going under that. So Yeah, it's juvenile, so there's probably a little family or something here somewhere. Come on out. Come and rush me. Come and rush me. Get out. in here. Oh, don't spray. Don't spray. Let's go in here. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Itami Koko. Good evening. So it is the dusk heading into the night of Friday, July 20th, 2018 in the lunar cycle Okonok East's Oats at Tsitsipi when the Saskatoon berries ripen and just getting our campfire on to make some steaks. Um, it's been a long couple of days for me, you know? <laughs> a lot of activity, other than, other than the, the, the skunk that was inside of the business. Um, I think I handled seven different skunks over the last couple of days. Here's some of the highlights. doesn't even realize I'm here yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he knows. Hey, buddy, it's okay. Sorry to startle you. I shouldn't have joked. You and me are going to go for a ride, and then you can get out of there. Oh. Oh. Stinky. Mr. Stinky. Hey there, Skunky. Are you getting hot? Starting to get that middle of the day heat going here. Pretty quick, eh? All right. Take you away. I take you away. <laughs> Buddy's out there. Come out. There you go. There you go. Get out there. There you go. Let's let you out first, buddy. Come on out. Read 
to go now. You're free to go. Yeah, don't spray me though. Just go. Just go. See ya. <laughs> I'm gonna free your buddy now. I'll free this guy. He can go with you. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, you're gonna come after me now? <laughs> oh, you're so cute when you're tough. You're so cute when you're tough. Look at this tough guy. Look at this tough boy. Oh, you tough boy. <laughs> You're that tough boy, aren't you? You gonna come get me? Ooh, stinky boy. Let's go out. Come on, little guy. I know. I know you had rough treatment, right? I grabbed you and everything. So bad. Come on out. About one door or the other, you know. How about this door? Oh, you're gonna spray, huh? You're gonna fight me and spray. Now you're getting tough. Ah! Yeah, I know what you're gonna do. I know what you're trying to. <laughs> I know. I know. You're super tough. This is how I got sprayed in the face this morning. One of these tough guys like this. Go on now. Go on now. <laughs> oh, he's shooting over the shoulder. Hey, by the way, those of you that believe in that uh, skunk myth about how they can only spray a little bit and then they're out of spray <laughs> that doesn't work go on go on now you can turn and run now there you go what a wild day it's coming back go on <laughs> standing down there being all mad Outside of skunks, there hasn't been that much rattlesnake activity. In fact, today there's been zero. Um, I did pick up a bull snake on the south side of town. And it's not looking good for this guy. Is it dead? Uh, pretty close to it. Headed that way. Yeah. Okay. All right. I can take him and just get rid of him. No, this is a bull snake. A bull snake? Yep. Yeah. Are they dangerous? No, no. No? Uh, no, no. No, no. They're not venomous anyway. They can bite, but they're not venomous. Okay. You don't gotta go to the hospital for these guys. <laughs> so he's dead. Yeah, he got he got hit. Look, he's got a uh, right around his ribs and stuff, uh, or right around his lungs and stuff. He got hit. So uh, his days are over. So what do you do? I mitigate rattlesnake human encounters in Lethbridge. I trap skunks and raccoons. But other than that bull snake, um, yesterday I had a rattlesnake call and, um, and then I had a, a call for what turned out to be a garter snake. So you can check those out. Yeah, hello, hello. Oh yeah. It's kind of stuck on a hunk of stuff there. Jeff, you can see his little tail going through. He's on the far side of the tree, about five feet out. Yeah. Oh yeah.
would that be? It's about third or fourth year. Very gentle. No squeezing. What? 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 I dropped you though. <laughs> And that's it. Yeah. Where does he go now? Uh, back to the coolies. <laughs> Good idea. How old is a snake that size? Just curious. That's about three or four years old. Now this is very cool for me to get this particular snake call because this is my neighborhood. Okay. Um, this snake was picked up maybe three blocks from my house, and these are the coolies back here that I am always hiking and exploring and stuff. And I don't see too many rattlesnakes in my neighborhood, so it is cool, I think, when I run into one. Um, <laughs> this looks like another female. I've been just catching females lately, but um, not nearly as mature as a lot of the other ones that I've been picking up. This one's probably between three and four years old. And yeah, I'm going to let her loose here. Um, we don't know where the den site is for Heritage Ridgewood, but we know that there's a little population of snakes here, so this territory should be familiar for her. Come on out. Come on out. Very pretty snake. Very pretty snake. All right. Right here. Let her just go right out here. And she'll find her place. Off she goes. Look. Hawk is stealing babies. <laughs> Some bird nest over there. It's attracted to. The birds are raising a ruckus. It's a Swanson's hawk. It's a deer up here too. Oh yeah, that's a wandering garter snake. A little wandering garter snake. Out here fishing at the pond. <laughs> in our backyard, so we just... Yeah. Yeah. They like they like water. They like ponds and stuff. Come on, little guy. Okay. So that's it. That is it. We will. So how do you tell? So yeah, I've been pretty busy between the skunks and the snakes. Um, on top of that. We got delivered to us yesterday a uh, infant, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what you'd call it. It's a it's a baby bat, a uh, uh, little brown bat, but it's it was on a farm, one of the local farms, and one of the farm cats had gotten a hold of a bat and eaten half of it, left the other half on the porch, and uh, the residents came and they found half of a bat on their porch and they went to clean it up and when they did they noticed that there was this little baby still clinging to it so they brought us that little baby and we've been working with that okay so the very first useful thing I've had with my latest battle box is the actual cardboard box itself <laughs> I have uh, repurposed it as a bat house for a uh, an infant little brown bat who was orphaned and um, he's in this he's in here he was out in the open when I opened the box but he uh, likes to go hide you know he's trying to sleep <laughs> he's enjoying his sleep um, so he crawled in deeper but yeah he's been doing okay he's got a little there's a little poopy here so he's been um, everything seems to be working well with his digestion and everything. I'll open this up so you can see him. Okay, here he is. 
He is a cute little guy, but he likes to be, you know, he likes to be huddled in the dark like he's like he's under his mama's wing, you know, or uh, close between the bark of a tree and the, and the trunk. But I haven't fed him for about an hour and a half or so because um, I've been out running skunks, so I need to get him some food. And usually at first, he doesn't know what I'm trying to do. He's like, what are you trying to do with this thing? Found that he doesn't, he hasn't uh, taken to any of the nipples that we have for bottles, even though we got some pretty small bottle nipples. He doesn't like that. I'm trying to find him a little, um, what do you call it? An injection, you know, so that I can, I can feed him with some of that. I'm giving him um, cat formula, cat replacement formula. And seems to be doing okay with that. You want to try some, little guy? Come on, let's have a little food. A little bit of food. Come, open up. Open up. Yeah, so lots going on over here. That's my last couple of days. Um, believe it or not, I am headed back up the mountain tomorrow. I've got uh, someone from my mother-in-law's family who has made a vow to... Uh, make an offering on top of the mountain um, it was part of his um, the things that he did to escape a cancer and so I'm bringing him up the mountain uh, looks like I'll be bringing my niece along with and maybe one or two others we'll see if they actually show up but yeah going back up the mountain um, I have uh, some some substitutes in place for me here in Lethbridge while I'm gone they're gonna handle the skunks they're gonna handle the snakes so no worries there I hope <laughs> and uh, yeah I'll post another video probably Sunday night back from the mountain